Pat Vileka, Mike Montgomery, and Tyler Glass now. Just a few of the professional MLB players that have gone through Hart High School's baseball program. But how did their talents make it all the way to the bigs? For the past 20 years, Coach Jim Ozella has played a huge part as to why these players make it to where they are today. What we've done down through the years with our players is we've given our players uh, a little bit of a, a system, a guideline to help them kind of reach the goals that they want to reach. Many coaches don't have the ability to connect with their players, and therefore the players lack confidence with the coach. Oh, I'm, I'm blessed. It's not a doubt. Uh, it's a great honor uh, for me to have been their coach. I'm um, in constant communication with all those guys. You know, the Pat Valekas, the Tyler Glasnos, you know, we're constantly text messaging each other and uh, trying to find out, you know, how things are going for him. Hart has always had a winning mentality in the past, but Rosela has made sure to engrave that mindset into his players' minds. A lot of our guys, you know, they come through the gate. Uh, they know the tradition. They know that, you know, uh, you're, you're up on a little bit of a pedestal and you got to work hard to reach that. And uh, the only way you can, you know, make it to the mountaintop is by keeping the work, 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 work. And, you know, those goals, those goals get achieved. What? A good program isn't the only reason players improve, as many players themselves have to find a way to better their baseball skills. Our guys have been very, are very goal oriented. Guys who really want to move on, play college ball, play professional ball. So, you know, we just need to give them the right direction, right guidance. And uh, a lot of times that'll happen. With six out of the 34 league championships and a record of 367 wins and 191 losses, Ozela has kept the tradition of winning at Hart High School and will likely continue for the years to come. Reporting for Canyons News, this is Mark Monroy.